This is a quick video. This is in regards to having more than one option. And this stemmed from a conversation I was having with a friend of mine yesterday because we had the very same similar thing happen to us. One time I went to a rental car establishment and I was using my Capital One Quicksilver MasterCard to hold the car and also make the rental purchase. And they were having a system issue with their terminal and the rep went ahead and kept swiping at least four times, which triggered Capital One and I have three accounts with Capital One. And what happened when it triggered it they put a freeze on all three of my accounts. So, being that I was in a rush to obtain a rental car at the time, I switched over and used my Navy Federal Credit Union Go Rewards Visa signature to go ahead and finish and make the purchase. And everything was fine after that. So, I went ahead and contacted Capital One and they asked me some questions, some security questions, and they went ahead and unfroze all of my accounts. So I was just saying that because it's good to have more than one option where, you know, you have one issuer. You have, I have Capital One, I have Navy Federal, American Express, and Discover as well. So it's very good to have options and more than one issuer because sometimes you could have three cards with one issuer and when one account get froze, all three of your accounts with that same issuer can get frozen. So it's good to have something else to be able to turn to at that period in time and till the other account like I did when I obtained the rental car and I contacted Capital One, just verified my location and they went ahead and unfroze my accounts. Redesign, rebuild, reclaim.